What keeps me tied to Edinburgh? I think the thing about Edinburgh is it's a, it's a small city. It's got all the amenities of a huge city, but it's livable. It's a livable space and a very green space. So when I go somewhere like London or New York, I mean, it's electrifying and it's exciting, but you get knackered very quickly, you get tired very quickly. And I just go, in Edinburgh, you can just, you can get off the beaten track very quickly and you can live your own life very privately. Um, and it's a city that just enthuses writers. So many writers live here, Alexander McCall Smith, Kate Atkinson, J.K. Rowling, me, Val McDermott's moved back recently. A whole bunch of writers living here, artists, musicians, comedians. It's a small city, so you can get to know people and get to, to know people that are interested in the same things you're interested in. Very livable city and very easy to get out into the countryside as well. Good, you know, good network for getting to London or anywhere else you want to go in the world. So why the hell would you want to live anywhere else? Oh yeah, the climate. That's why you'd want to live anywhere else in the world. I mean, we're in June, as I talked to you, we're in June and it's freezing. You know, I, in fact, I was on Twitter last night and I said, uh, it's June in Edinburgh, so make sure you check on your, your neighbours if they're elderly to make sure they're warm enough. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, global warming, I thought it would be growing pineapples by now, but it's not happened yet. Um, so if I couldn't live in Edinburgh, I'd want to live somewhere warm. I just can't think where that would be. Somewhere warm that actually is Edinburgh. Struggling. No, I've got to stay here and just wrap up. <laughs>